I need to learn that song. I'm gonna learn that song today. <laughs> Decided to go for a little walk this morning. One of the benefits of taking a walk first thing in the morning for me is it just kind of helps me sift through all of my ideas, all the things that I have to do, things that are on my plate, and help me get motivated or excited about starting one of them. Sometimes when I just start the day immediately, like at my desk, at my computer, whatever, I get in a fog. There's so many things I could be doing. Which one should I do? And I, honestly, I've tried every little hack there is. I mean, I've made extensive to-do lists. I've made really small to-do lists. I've used my phone. I've used journals. I've written stuff down. I've not written stuff down. I've put things in the calendar. And I love making lists of things to do. I love that process because it gives some sense of accomplishment even without doing the thing. You know, you write it down on paper and there's a little bit of a chemical rush, you know, dopamine or endorphins or something that you get from like, oh, I did that thing, but you didn't really do that thing. And now it's just on a list. And once it's on the list, I sort of find myself rebelling against it. Like, oh, I don't want to do that thing. Kind of like somebody telling you what to do and then you don't want to do it, except I'm the one who told myself what to do and I don't want to do what myself told me to do myself. There's a great phrase I heard, I'm gonna misquote this, but it's like we tend to overestimate what we can do in a day and underestimate what we can do in a year. It might not be exactly it, but, but it, that kind of gets the gist of it, right? I think that's a really, powerful statement. In yesterday's vlog, I talked about how I use timers or how I've been using timers. The other thing that is very helpful for me is deadlines. I think deadlines are crucial. I'll give you an example. I have an album that I made years ago in the studio with some really stellar musicians that never really had, uh, I didn't know what I was going to do with it, when I was going to put it out, if I was going to put it out, and like it just kept dragging and dragging and dragging, and it's still not out because I'm like, well, maybe it needs... Um, well, first of all, it needed to be mixed, and now it's mixed, but now it needs to be mastered, but now there are tunes that don't have a name yet, and I just can't bring myself to, because there's no actual deadline happen, like on the books, they just keep staying in the vault. You know, when I put out my album somewhere in between, that lingered for a long time too, because I was like, well, am I gonna try to get it on a record label? No record labels wanted it. Um, am I gonna do this, am I gonna do that, am I gonna hire a publicist? You know, on and on and on, until finally one day I just said, you know what, that's it screw it, I'm putting it out, and, and I chose. I literally pulled up the calendar and I chose a date in August of whatever that year was. And then once I had that date, now I had something to work towards. I had a deadline that was coming at me every day. Just like I said in yesterday's vlog about the timer, when I press go, the practicing starts or it becomes easier because now I'm in that countdown mode. So the thing about to-do lists is they're better than not having one, that's for sure, but if there's not a deadline attached to whatever the item is, like a real deadline, a deadline that is public, that somebody is waiting on um, so that there's some accountability for yourself. Outside of that, then it's just, you're almost just creating more stress for yourself, I think, by putting it down as like, oh, I have to do this and I have to do this. Well, we all have a ton of stuff to do all the time. So my suggestion is pick one or two things that you know you need to get done and find a way to publicly promise that you're going to do them by a certain time. So as a small daily example of this, I need to learn that song, If I Were a Bell. I played it the other night at my gig and I had to read it. I mean, I didn't know the song by heart. I need to learn that song. I'm gonna learn that song today. Thank mm -hmm. you.